Well, on this, our second day of preparation for our total consecration to Jesus through Mary, we're called to meditate upon the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5. Even the pagans do as much, do they not? You must therefore be perfect, just as your Heavenly Father is perfect. Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right hand is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your Father, who sees all that is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had the reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place, and your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. In your prayers, do not babble as the pagans do, for they think that by using many words, they will make themselves heard. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. So you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who are in debt to us. And do not put us to the test, but save us from the evil one. Yes, if you forgive others their failings, your Heavenly Father will forgive you yours. But if you do not forgive others, your Father will not forgive your failings either. The Gospel of the Lord. And so we pray together the Veni Creator. Come, O Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O font of life, O fire of love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gifts art known, the finger of God's hand we own. The promise of the Father thou, who dost the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love, with patience firm and virtue high, the weakness of our flesh supply. Far from us drive the foe we dread, and grant us thy true peace instead. So shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside. O may thy grace on us bestow, the Father and the Son to know, and thee through endless times confessed, O both the eternal Spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run be to the Father and the Son, who rose from death, the same to thee. O Holy Spirit, eternally. Amen. And now we pray the Ave Maristella. Hail, bright star of ocean, God's own mother blessed, ever sinless virgin, gate of heavenly rest. Taking that sweet Ave, which from Gabriel came, peace confirm within us, changing Eva's name. Break the captive's fetters, light on blindness poor, all our ills expelling, every bliss implore. Show thyself a mother, may the word divine, born for us thy infant, hear our prayers through thine. Virgin all excelling, 
mildest of the mild, freed from guilt, preserve us, pure and undefiled. Keep our life all spotless, make our way secure, till we find in Jesus joy forevermore. Through the highest heaven, to the Almighty Three, Father, Son, and Spirit, one same glory be. Amen. And now we pray together the Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, because he has regarded the humility of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed, because he that is mighty hath done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is from generation to generation to them that fear him. He hath showed might in his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the conceit of their heart. He hath put down the mighty from their seal, and hath exalted the humble. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He hath received Israel his servant, being mindful of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.